Hi everyone, hope you're all well and keeping safe. So, this week we are focusing on some science work. Our topic is states of matter, which hopefully you got a chance to look at some of the work that we set for you last week. Um, so we thought we'd launch our work this week with a little bit of a game. And it's an anagram game. So, I'm sure you're sat there thinking, what does she mean by an anagram? An anagram is where a word has been taken and the letters have been mixed up to create a new word or phrase. I'm going to warn you, some of my words and phrases aren't actually real words. But, it's a little bit of fun. You can play it on your own. You could encourage your family to join you and help you. What I'll do is I'll read out the anagram, pause the video so that you have a little bit of thinking time. You might need a piece of paper and a pen to write down your answers. Um, and then as soon as you're ready to go again, press play and I'll read out the next anagram. There are 10 anagrams. Each of the words are linked to the science topic, states of matter. So if you did look at any of the science work from last week, you should hopefully recognise some of these words. Some will be perhaps new words that you will need for this week's work. Good luck, have a bit of fun, and hope you enjoy it. So let's start. Anagram number one. Mr. Tate. Mr. Tate. Think hard about our science topic. Number two. Oddless. Oddless. Got any ideas? Number three. Zing free. Zing free. Number four. Quillid. Quillid. Sounds like something out of Harry Potter. It's not. Number five. Partu Nivea. Partu Nivea. Number six. Easiest one of them all. Sag. Sag. I reckon you've got that one. You won't need long for that one. Number seven. We thought this sounded French. Pouva. Pouva. Excuse my French pronunciation. Another one that sounds a little bit French. Croceps. Croceps. Best we could do. Number nine. Let Ming. Let Ming. And the last one, number ten. Nation Descom. Nation Descom. Have you got them all? Excellent. Well done. So, Mrs. Holbrook will now be coming on and she'll be going through all the answers for you. Good luck with this week's work. Hope you enjoy the few experiments that we've got planned for you. Make sure if you're doing the boiling kettle experiment that you have an adult there supervising and perhaps even boiling the kettle because they do get incredibly hot and I do not want to have any accidents. Enjoy and make sure you learn all these terms because it will really help with your work this week. Bye!